what's up guys yoda the wise here back at you here this is going to be the first video of a series in terms of gear and what they do and who they're probably best for to some extent um let's get started all right so the first ones that we're going to start talking about in terms of gears is going to be on a beginner's level because these are probably the only gears you're going to have access to for a while unless you spend some money um, that's going to be the Apocalator, the Eternal Barrier, Devastation Helmet, Void, Invincible, Creator, more or less Speed of God, and then you can get Nixia's, Voltor's Power, Magiwell's Treasure, and if you spend some gold, Fabrication. Between the, the Apocalator is going to give you attack and accuracy, Eternal Barriers, uh, HP and defense. Devastation Helmet is going to be attack, but you're going to lose defense in the first row, HP in the second row. Then you have the Void, which is specifically to infantry. So your infantry commanders, that's what this one is for. It's a chess piece. It gives you dodge and defense. Invincible is also the chess piece for walker specifically, HP and dodge. And then Creator is defense and HP for airships. As we move on to the Speed of God... This is where you're going to get some of the start of total resistance weakening effect and some dodge. But the main thing here is not so much the dodge because so many uh, com uh, commanders are, have either jewel sets or auto hits from their skills that it dodge isn't really that big of a deal anymore. Uh, the main thing here is the resistance we weakening effect or RWE. So then there's a couple other ones here that are on a... a beginner level so to speak the eye of the abyss does crit damage accuracy first row negative hp on the back row so this was a good one for when you were trying to build an accuracy build and get as much power out of it as possible so like uh before they made the death star this was really good for uh, bullets and rocks that needed accuracy in order because you wanted them to hit with their skill um so that's that's a that's what the Eye Abyss was pretty good for, or even Stella's because Stella's didn't technically have a auto hit until they auto added on jewels and the fourth plug-in skill, which will give you that auto hit. Next is going to be the Body of Phoenix. This is HP, defense, and dodge. So a lot of these are these last two. Um, I know Body of Phoenix is used for a Arc Hall upgrade, so this is where it's only typically useful anymore but on a beginner level hp defense dodge not bad the values are fairly small but when it comes to these um chess pieces it really just depends on what commander you're using so body of phoenix it's it's an all around for the beginner level where these ones you know these are specific to your infantry walker and airship commanders so Nick says, this is dodge defense, mostly used for commanders that are going to be wanting to be more defensive or dodging things. So that's going to be like your Orochis, Reinhardts, Hancocks, uh, Elfs on a beginner level. All right. This is totally beginner level. Um, just starting small commander. You're not going against people with max leads kind of deal. Uh, Voltar is going to give you accuracy and defense. So this is another set of pants that was really good for bullets and rocks where you needed accuracy. And then Magiwell's Treasure. This one was mostly used for airship commanders because you need that crit damage to do a lot of damage. <laughs> so, and then if you're using a, um, a Dragon Slayer, for example, or any other commander that you know like golem or uh, eo or you know something that has like a auto hit skill that does additional damage and you're putting black's best offense on it i mean the defense there also helps a, a bit too when it comes to boosting that attack level essentially <clears throat> and then they have these gears that you really can't get anymore which is skywalker black knight which you can get in the, i believe in the shop still uh, this is where you get your tier soldier suppression. Uh, tier suppression, if you don't understand already, is if you have tier one and somebody has tier five and they have Black Knight up to at least level 20 or 30, 
you're gonna do zero damage to that tier five. As we've been seeing lately, another way to combat Ira lately has been tier suppression. And when you have the plugin skill absolute tier suppression or absolute suppression, and you have at least a black knight, which <clears throat> it's tier suppression, uh, tier suppression does match the ambition. It's just the ambition has better stats on the other end. As long as you have that up to level 40, which I think is as high as the Black Knight goes is 40, and you have a couple gems that produce tier suppression, and then you have the Diablo Hall, you can 100% tier suppress to where as long as you have T12, it doesn't, uh, anybody that doesn't have T12, you're going to suppress. That's been a huge thing right now that a lot of people are catching on to. All right, so that kind of wraps it up for beginner gear. This one will probably be the longest video just because there were a lot of them in the beginning of this so um the other ones are going to be short the other videos are going to be shorter just because it's, it's i'm going to section it off a little bit better um so until next time